I think that for me, the way I would choose to learn um, new skills, so um, for example, I was very, very good at hardware um, and I, I used to, in my previous job, that was something that I was very skilled in and I had a very good understanding. And home networking was something that I was very, very good at and something that um, is a skill that I could probably teach in the classroom, no problems. Um, I'd say my weakness as a, a teacher from an honest perspective is that um, my level of programming is is okay it's not brilliant it could be better um, I did a lot of VB when I was doing my A levels it's something that I've since forgotten and we're now looking at using Python in schools so I think um, for me it's going to be very much a refresher course um, and, and the way that I think that I would learn best uh, with that would be if other educators delivered CPD sessions which um, they can say this is how we effectively do it in in our school um, the kids really enjoy it um, have you thought about teaching it this way have you thought about um, maybe doing it um, this way and so on and so forth so I think in terms of me developing I would start out by doing that and then I think that once I've got the basic fundamentals down, I would then go and probably invest in a book and then I would just have to use my own time to learn it, which can be very difficult again. But again, if time wasn't a problem, that would be how I would learn. Um, so I get the basics in place and then I, I go off and, and learn it for myself. And I think that that's what we teach students to do in school. We we give them the basics so they've got the basic understanding and the fundamentals there so that they can go and progress further in education of that particular aspect of ICT. Mm -hmm.